Hey, it's Chuck the Iceman Liddell, and you're listening to the Three Point Conversion. <laughs> Just you guys. Who would like to start in the room, and then we'll move to Zoom? Maggie, go ahead. Um, I mean, well, uh, it's, we're a very resilient team. I think, um, you know, when it comes down to executing down the stretch, uh, we've done a good job so far this season and um, just being locked in. Um, you know, we got to bring that from the jump and, you know, carry that through the entire game. But um, we're definitely a very resilient team and um, it's just giving us experience for, you know, tough games down the stretch. Emily? Yeah. <laughs> Um, I mean, uh, you know, I just try to do everything I can for this team. And, um, you know, we talked about it in, in close games and stuff like that. If I needed to be out there for, for longer, um, you know, I, I can. Um, and I'm just, you know, like, I'm just trying to get my win back, you know, every game. So just like steadily increasing the minutes. But, <laughs> um, but uh, I feel good. Uh, I felt good out there. So um, that's why they decided to keep me out there. These are good. Well, that's um, not on me. <laughs> that's on the medical staff right now. <laughs> but um, uh, and it felt good out there. Like I felt good. You know, I felt like my more myself than I felt. You know, the last few games. Um, so just you know, carrying that as we move forward, I think it's going to be um, huge for us. Sierra, go ahead. Yeah, it felt pretty good. Um, yeah, I'm excited. It was a good moment. Um, I was happy when I got to seven because I knew I was probably going to get to shoot three. <laughs> <laughs> I knew she was going to make it too. Yeah, it was fun. Um, I'm happy. That was an awful answer. I'm sorry, but you get it. <laughs> it's a you great get answer. It. Great you answer. Get it. You get it. Emily, go ahead. Yeah, I mean, it's always fun, like, when you get to play against your old team. And for me, like, I know a lot of their plays, so that kind of helps, like, knowing what's coming. Um, so that part. But, like, it's kind of it's like any other game. Like, you want to go out there and whoop butt. And so, yeah. But it is nice, like, knowing, like, everything that they're running, kind of, and, like, their schemes and stuff that helps. Azar, go ahead. Um, it doesn't really matter. I mean, every um, every game, I think we're going to be ready to show up uh, no matter who we're playing, no matter if we're on TV, if we're not on TV. Um, you know, you know, we're playing for each other. We're playing for our fans here um, at Mohegan. And I think, you know, every every night we're ready to step up and, you know, grit out some tough wins if we have to. We'll go to Zoom quickly. Blake, go ahead on Zoom. Hey, ladies, this is Blake Spadaro from Blake's Take. What did you all think of y'all's defensive effort in the first half compared to the second half? Uh, I mean, I think, um, you know, in the first half, we're definitely, you know, some missed assignments, um, you know, to start the game. And then um, as it got on, you know, we locked in um, to the to the scout and executing what we wanted to do um, defensively. And I think we picked up that that intensity, um, you know, towards the, the second half. Maggie, go ahead. Ooh, I'm sorry. Tiffany. Oh, Tiff, sorry. Um, her becoming into the second half. Yeah, it was like yeah, she was just, I mean, she had like good, she had great minutes. I mean, she was a plus nine off the bench. Um, just her athleticism, and I thought she had some really good rebounds, mm -hmm. at, especially at the end there. Yeah. She was crashing, and I think she just brought really good energy off the bench because we were kind of up and down energy wise, I felt like. We were kind of all over the place, so it was good to have her kind of come off and have, be a spark. Any other questions? Okay, thanks guys. Thanks. <laughs> Stephanie White will be in shortly. Thank you guys. Thanks, Rach. 
We have head coach Stephanie White. We'll pause for opening statement, and then go to questions in the room, then on Zoom. Um, just a gutsy win by our team. Uh, it certainly it wasn't pretty all the time. Um, you know, it was a game of runs. Minnesota's an outstanding team. They're, they're a matchup nightmare. They're well coached. Um, you know, they, they made timely plays. Um, and, and, and fortunately, we were able to make timely plays as well and come out with a win. Questions? Emily, go ahead. Yeah, I think our defense early, our energy on the defensive end, our execution on the defensive end, our sense of urgency on the defensive end hasn't been there, you know, particularly in um, in, in on ball screen actions. Um, but, you know, you see a difference when we impose our will and we dictate versus when we when we react and we were really reactive in that first quarter. Azar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I think every game, you know, it, it, it really, there's, there's no gimmies in this league. And, you know, every, every game matters, you know, every possession matters. Uh, you know, this is a, the team that we played in the playoffs a year ago. We certainly knew, um, you know, what they're capable of. And, um, you know, we, we, we have, we have lofty expectations here and, and you know, we've got a competitive group that hates to lose. And so you, you see that in the intensity of, of, of how they play. Um, you know, we got to clean up a few things in, in execution and, and it will allow us to work smarter and not harder. Uh, I think we got to get a little bit better in some of those areas. Maggie, go ahead. I think um, number one, just you know, our experience uh, allows us to to do that. Um, you know, when you've got you know our our, our big three, um, they they make timely plays, whether that's on offense or defense. I thought um, DB Steele uh, was was huge. Uh, you know, her 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 taking a charge was huge. Um, you know, AT is always making critical plays down the stretch. Um, you know, her ability to navigate and facilitate and, and score. Um, you know, I, I, Breezy, I mean, had some critical rebounds, defensive stops and, and, and buckets. Uh, you know, and then and, and Ty hit a big three. I mean, she came back in the fourth quarter, hit a big three. Um, you know, Nay didn't didn't play as many minutes, but but got called in in the in the last, you know, however many seconds of the ball game and knew that K-Mac was going to get a touch and did a great job. thought Tiff was great tonight, too, was doing her minutes. You know, Rachel hit the big three. So, you know, we're not built for for just our big three to carry us, right? It's going to take everyone, and, and I'm most pleased with the fact that everyone impacted the game in a positive way in, in critical moments. Serenity, and then Emily. Uh, you know, I think we certainly do, um, but this was a, a matchup. You know, and, and when you look at, at the bigs for Minnesota, certainly, you know, they're missing Dorka Juhas and somebody that has a bigger body on the interior, so we knew we had an advantage. Um, so we wanted to, to get her touches early and often. And I felt like um, as the game progressed, we got a little tunnel vision on how we were getting it to her, you know, trying to get her on the first action instead of, you know, working the first action and then leading to second and third side looks. Um, so, you know, that's an area that we'll have to continue to improve on. Um, you know, we didn't play with her for most, most of last season. So learning how to get reintegrated um, in, into the system and how we can find her uh, in a timely manner is, is going to be a growth process for us. Emily? I liked what she was doing on the defensive end of the floor. Uh, I liked her activity level. Um, she got some critical rebounds for us. Um, you know, did a really good job of 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 staying in plays on 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 D. And um, I mean, you know, she was a plus nine, you know, off the bench, and that that's that's big time. You know, that's important. And and she stayed uh, she stayed engaged. Azar. Mm-hmm. That's this league, man. You know, it's 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 always been this league. It's it's compact. Um, you play a lot in a short period of time. 
you know, they, they've, they've got to do their due diligence in terms of rest and recovery and, 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 and refueling. We've got to be smart, um, you know, as a staff and in terms of how we're preparing, you know, more mental than physical with a day in between, um, you know, watching the film, talking through our execution. You know, thankfully we have a, a shoot around on Saturday, um, but, but more than anything, we, we got to make sure that they get rested, recovered, um, and then, you know, mentally we got we to get prepared um, for the next game. We'll go to Zoom. Blake, go ahead. Hey, Coach. This is Blake Spadaro from Blake. Nafisa Collier had 31 points on 11 rebounds and dominated the stat, dominated the stat sheet. What kind of problems does she cause you all offensively and defensively as a team? She causes a lot of problems. I mean, you know, she's an MVP caliber player. Uh, she's gotten better every year. Um, you know, her, her versatility is off the charts, you know, her, her ability to stretch the floor from the three, um, you know, to score with her back to the basket, to put the ball on the floor, um, to use her in multiple positions, to invert actions where she's receiving the actions instead of, you know, setting the actions, um, you know, and she hit tough shots. I thought that fadeaway over DB in the corner that she hit as a shot clock was winding down was a, was a huge shot. Um, and she's really, really active, smart player. Um, so she, she's a matchup nightmare, um, you know, and, and uh, AT is, is certainly one of the best, if not the best defender in, in the WNBA. Um, and so, you know, it's a challenge for her, certainly, as we lean heavily on her on the offensive end as well. Um, but, but I thought she did a tough job or a good job of, of making her, her shots tough. She just made tough shots, and great players do that. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. Any other questions for Coach? Yep, go ahead, Deshaun. Yeah, you know, we we don't think too much about last year. It was a different team, right? Like we got we got a whole whole lot of different people in this in this locker room. You know, the expectation in Connecticut is to win, and you know we've we've had um, we've had some some gutted out wins already this season. Um, you know, in a perfect world, we're we're not having to play such heavy minutes, but but it is what it is. You know, I think we have to continue to to try to work our rotations. Uh, we got to continue to try to find ways to to get um get get subs in and, and sometimes that's around timeouts. It's not actually game action. Uh, but the bigger message is is that look we gotta we gotta stay together. We're gonna have ups and downs. It's a it's a game of runs. It's a season of runs. We're gonna hit adversity. Um, you know we're gonna win some. We're gonna lose some. Um, but it is a marathon. And and we we don't want to be playing our best basketball in May and June. We want to be playing our best basketball in September and October. Um, and so we just have to stay the course. All right. We'll go last. Question on Zoom, George, go ahead. Uh, George Gway here from the Just Say Gway Sports Podcast. Uh, can you guys hear me? Barely. Um, if you speak up a little more. Uh, George Gway here from the Just Say Gway Sports Podcast. Uh, Coach, congrats on the win. In a night like tonight where you guys go 18 from 21 from the line and the other team shoots 60%, how much does that show how important it is in tight games to hit your free throws? Yeah, it's huge. It's huge. Um, you know, games are won and lost at the free throw line. Um, you know, I'm I'm proud of our group for we, we, we do a good job of of getting to the line and, and you know tonight we knocked them down. Um early we knocked them down consistently. Um it, it, it's important. I mean it's it's always when you watch basketball across the country, whether it's collegiately or, or professionally, um you see that games are won and lost at the free throw line. So it's important our our players stepped up and, and, and knocked them down in critical moments. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Have a good night.